Hi guys, this is Yana and Czech with Yana. We are talking about Czech culture, Czech customs and Czech habits. Let's dive into it. So today, I want to share with you some things what Czech people do during the summertime. Are you wondering what do you what Czech people do during the summertime? Stay tuned. Summertime usually is considered just uh, sometime June, but usually July and August because it is a break, summer break from school. So there is no school, kids are at home, that's why we call summer just those two months, July and August. Czech people usually travel. They go to their cottages, somewhere in the Czech Republic, in the countryside, to be in nature. But what do they do there? And what about those who stay at home? Do you have any guesses? Well, Czech people love to go mushroom picking and to collect all kinds of fruits, vegetables. Czech people often have some gardens. Even in Prague they would have some garden or they would rent a little garden and try to grow vegetables, fruits. They have apple trees, apricot trees, pear tree, and plums, cherry tree, and so on. So those people, they collect all these fruits. So the whole family travels either to the cottage or to the garden, and they pick whatever it is. Some goods they are going to eat but there is usually so much more than they are able to eat so they are going to either pickle those things if it's a vegetable so we make like a pick a pickled onions gherkins carrots mushrooms uh, sweet corn whatever you possibly can think of really or if it's a fruit if it's a fruit we can make a jam so there will be a strawberry jam apricot jam Whatever we feel fine, so we can make jam out of it. Right? So, those people, they will be making jam, pickle, all kinds of things. Uh, people who don't have their gardens, maybe you will say, okay, so my friend lives in Prague, which is the capital. They just they don't do that well they do so even if you don't have that at home you go to buy some either peppers or gherkins maybe some apples so you can make uh, those things you can make some syrup for a drink you can just make a sweet juice and make fruit in the jar. Whatever it is, believe me, Czech people do that. We spend so much time just like, you know, collecting the fruits out of the tree, then cut, cutting and chopping it up. 
preparing everything, making the right juice. So we buy so much sugar and vinegar and all kinds of fun things. We have nice glasses <laughs> ready to use and we create those delicious things. No, we don't sell those. We keep them <laughs> and use them for the whole year and next year and another year because they won't expire, they won't get bad because we are going to sterilize those. So we cook them and uh, everything is prepared and like tightly shut. So we can use it for a very long time. So that is the fun thing that we did during the summer time. And you maybe you're wondering, ah, oh, you don't do anything else? Well, not really. <laughs> Some people they go maybe to the pond, maybe to swim, but men usually prefer to go fishing and they would get some fish and eat the fish. Maybe they even will even pickle the fish. You never know. Whatever we can pickle, we are going to pickle that. So everything is possible. Everything can be in the jar. But do you have in your yard or garden. Is there anything you can pick up? You can get ready, you can maybe even from the apples, you can make some apple strudel, you can make another cake, like an apple front for the like a baby food. All kinds of things you can think of everything is possible. Until next time. Have a great day.